Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna be coming a little bit further on my uh, getting power from my solar panels to the battery bank that is to become in the basement project. That's a long one, right? What I got here is I have on the lawn, I have a blue plastic hose. These are the hoses that we get our water supply in and it's definitely long enough. And the plan is that it should go from over here in the garage. If you saw my previous video on that, it's gonna come out of the garage through a hole I've drilled in the concrete floor there. And it's gonna be going into the house right there where this blue one is going in. Let's just go into the garage and see how that looks. Here is the garage. It's rather messy in here. And there is the hole and it sticks directly to the outside. Gonna have the blue hose coming up here somewhere. I haven't planned out yet where it should go and be. Right now the inverters are here. Someone asked me how much how powerful these inverters was and it's kind of a stupid story that I I started by uh, actually I started by buying another inverter uh, looked like these same numbers and as these it has an, had a nice display and stuff so that I could see how much power they were producing so everything was fine or oh, actually it wasn't these inverters can produce uh, power from voltage from 28 volts to 55 volts DC. My solar panels, when the sun is shining on them and there is no draw, they can easily produce... They have an open circuit voltage of 60 volts. Uh, that's not very good for these inverters because um, normally in the morning these would kick in and begin producing power, but they had a tendency to kick out again and then they were not producing anything and because they didn't go up to 60 volts they were not able to to kick in again so the rest of the day I would not be producing any power at all. These are 1200 watt uh, grid tie power inverters but they're they're rather cheap Chinese brand so I found that they were not e they were not really able to produce that much power so I bought two of them even though I only have one kilowatts of solar panels, I got two of them. So uh, each of them is only doing about 500 watts on a really good day. But because of this voltage, I got another one. I got the one up here, this one. And well, it's kind of stupid because this one was able to do, this one is able to do 50 volts to 100 volts. So this inverter is just, if these two, get the loose connection this one will will start producing power and it will put a strain on the solar panels enough so that uh, the, the output voltage will come below 55 volts and these two will kick in again so this one is just to uh, keep the voltage low enough for the two other ones to work uh, this might be a very expensive solution. It was what I came up with. So it's yeah, it was a very expensive and probably pretty stupid solution, but it worked for over a year. Well, and down here in the basement, I've been cleaning up. These are old boxes and I've had these for years. And actually uh, these were the first flat screen monitors that I bought at, at work. And I kept a lot of the boxes to have all my junk in. 15 inches Philips monitors from back in the day. And the reason they're there is because I've been cleaning in here. So now it looks a bit more tidy and I've been throwing a lot of stuff out. It hurt a lot. Now I want to drill a hole in my wall somewhere around here uh, to get that blue hose in. I think actually I'm gonna start by having the blue hose down here and try to slide it through the floorboards in the living room. Right now I'm under the living room of, of where I made the hole. I'm, I'm in the other side of the living room. But that is where I wanna, I wanna do the hole over here. I'm not, still not sure if I want it 
uh, on this side or on this side of this beam. I think I might, I think I might want to go inside, get rid of the two top boxes and just make the hole right around there. I'm thinking about that. So where we were in the basement is just around over here somewhere. I think I was probably pointing at something down here. So I want to drill a hole in the wall down here and bring the blue hose over here and down to the hole that I made last week. So that's the plan. So let's go drill. Starting by getting rid of these two boxes, just putting them somewhere else. And here is the drill with the diamond bit. I'm not gonna be using it this long, this time. To, to have more control of it to start with, I'm gonna I'm gonna shorten it quite a bit. I'm gonna start with it without these holes. I'm just gonna have it on the drill like this. And I'm gonna drill my hole right in. I think I'm gonna choose this corner and I'm gonna go a slight angle upwards. So I will be sure to to get out of the sand. I'm pretty sure there's sand on the other side in there. I'm not gonna, that's not the angle. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something like this, I think. And I'm gonna be making hell of a mess, but I hope I can clean that up again. Just got a bit of water so that I can cool down the drill bit when it gets hot. Leave that on the ground. And I'm gonna be using Head, not headphones, but ear protection because it's it's very noisy. So I'm gonna start drilling a little bit, and I'm probably gonna cut you out because this is probably gonna get boring very fast. So we got power on this. Okay, I've gotten far enough so that I'm extending the drill. It's not because I'm at the bottom yet, it's just because there's not a lot of room for the for the machine in there. It's it's a tight spot, so I'm gonna get this wet and get it in there. Oh and yeah. When you play with machines like that and exchange drill bits, take out the power cord, but remember to put it in again. Otherwise you'll be filming yourself doing stupid things. Take long to get stuck in there. And it's full of gravel so it gets stuck every time. Now the drill is through. And I'm 
and I'm, I'm getting stuck with one of the floorboards in there. I can feel that. I'll try with the blue hose and see if I can get that through in some way. Uh, maybe try with another hose or something to get it in the right direction. But this hole is done. Now I just need to do a lot of cleaning up and get a vacuum cleaner down here and stuff like that. So, um, well, this was a kind of a small update and some work on this project. We can kind of have a peek in there. It's not very pretty right now, but it's, it's gonna be great to have a direct connection from, from in here and to the garage. Uh, down here is the, the batteries that I've been collecting. There is three batteries here and there is three batteries there. And the other ones are on the charger back in here. And this is the OOPS, 3 kilowatt OOPS that I want to play around with. A bit further on that project. This is not ideal for, for filming. It's, it became very hot down here. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see this project in progress. And have a really nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.